Nano punishes someone in every episode. But, this time no one gets punished. Nano even falls for a guy and cries for him. Thanks to his dad, TK gets to enroll in a new school. He got kicked out of his last school for stealing. The principal immediately declined him after checking his record. The assistant then places a suitcase full of money on the table. Who doesn't like money? He takes TK in after seeing the money. In class, TK doesn't pay attention and just looks outside. A new student arrives. Her name is Nano. The teacher tells Nano to sit next to a girl. Sitting down, she asks about TK. Her deskmate tells her TK is a thief. He got kicked out of his last school because of it and has no friends. Nano immediately chooses TK to be her next target. She approaches him, she even gave him a sandwich. But, TK's a tough nut to crack. He just ignores her. Nano switches tactics and steals TK's watch. TK wants his watch back, but Nano tells him his tricks are too old. She shows him what she stole from the principal's office. TK is amazed. He thinks Nano likes to steal stuff too. They make a competition. Let's see who's the better thief. They smile at each other and begin round one. Both stole a wallet, but TK's wallet is empty. Nano on the other hand got a lot of money. First round goes to Nano. On to the, the second round TK stole some guy's headset. Nano steals an expensive gift on a bench. Round 2, Nano still wins. She dances happily. Stealing their peers stuff isn't exciting enough. The teacher suddenly can't find her laptop. Nano stole it. TK thinks he's met a master. At night, they steal some beer. TK has fallen for her. No one ever gets close to him. Nano even goes stealing with him. They both like to steal and are always seen together. Everything is going according to Nano's plan. She wants TK to make an even bigger mistake. Then, she'll punish him. During class, they write notes to each other. They finally decide to go big and get to the principal's office. Nano analyzes the angles of the camera. She's found a new target, the painting inside the principal's office. The painting is stolen so the teacher checks everyone's back. She asks if TK was the one who did it, but there's nothing in his bag. She opens Nano's bag and a balloon flies up. Nano shows TK what she has stolen, gold cameras, fortune cats, Audrey Hepburn's glasses, and even Charlie Chaplin's hat. TK takes Nano to his room. Nano finds out TK's dad is always busy with work. That's why TK steals stuff to get his attention. Looking at Nano, he takes all his courage to express himself. He thanks her. He thanks her for being his friend. TK never had a friend before. Nano is moved. TK then asks her not to suddenly disappear. He's afraid she might disappear one day. He likes being around her. TK tells her to make a pinky promise. Nano looks at TK and tells him she feels the same. She looks at the picture on the table and tells him there is a way for his dad to notice him. Nano's changed her original plan. She tells him every year, the principal gets a lot of money from the parents. But, he never uses the money for the school. The bribe gets bigger and bigger. He hides it in a safe behind his desk. That is their target. A few hours before the heist TK gets scared. He asks Nano if they can cancel the plan. Nano tells TK if he won't do it then she'll do it alone. TK doesn't want Nano to get caught. If she truly wants to do that then okay, under one condition. If Nano gets caught, blame it all on TK. Tell them he made her do it. Nano tells him what about the promise. He says it's okay as long as Nano's safe. Nano suddenly kisses him. She tells him the plan will go on. Night comes TK sneaks in the principal's office. Nano is the lookout. He successfully opens the safe and gets the money. 
But the lights suddenly turn on. The principal and the police are here. He's panicking. The principal tells the police to wait outside. He's informed TK's dad about this. His dad should know how to handle this. Nano steps in. TK wants to protect her and takes all the blame. But the principal says Nano is the one who warned him about this. TK is confused. He can't believe Nano sold him out. He thinks his dad will finally come back. It's the assistant again. He puts a check on the table. Disappointed, TK tears the check and punches the principal. The police come in. TK is locked in a juvenile detention center. He's released after a few months. Getting out, he sees his dad waiting for him there. He comes to hug him, he really missed him. TK was looking at the painting on the wall when Nano arrived. Nano tells him for his dad to notice him, he has to know what it feels like to lose him. TK finally understands why Nano did it. He even tells Nano the thing he doesn't want to lose the most is her. But, she still vanishes. Her eyes are teary, looking back at TK one last time. Nano's sinister smile is on almost every episode. Except for this one where we only see her tears. Perhaps Nano, being the god of punishment is also lonely. She doesn't have any friends or loved ones. Nano never needs any help or protection. But seeing TK, she wanted to protect him. TK moved her. Maybe she's felt love for the first time. Her eyes are filled with sadness and regret. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, 